It looks a little thicker. The snorts? Yeah. I'm, we're keeping track. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> the snort yeah, counter. It's just no. a, well, just a, yeah, just we're not we're not done with them, so to keep going. <laughs> hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and we are back with part two with Stoner Car Care previewing their brand new paint ceramic coating. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We're just gonna like dive right in. Okay. And I guess we'll talk and work. We've already done uh wash chemical decon polish panel prep wipe now is being done which is removing all of the polishing oils this is the final step before we go ahead and apply what so we're gonna be putting a center's new paint mm -hmm. ceramic onto here um, so this is not out just yet but this is going to be a good we've been testing it around quite a bit in a bunch of different local shops and um i feel like we got it dialed in so this will be a good test on Skylar's car here, and uh, by the time this video comes out, it'll be out. That's what I was. Just Are you saying I... I take a long time to edit? Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah, it's... from your other video. <laughs> yeah, um, it is gonna take a while. Center Car Care's new paint ceramic. Okay. Uh, freshly released, has a durability of five years. JC, are we uh, saying one layer with this, or we're just? We can layer up, but how much are we suggesting? To how many layers? For just one? One, one two, I mean, one will work. Um, people get, some people like to get saucy and put multiple on. Who? Well, no one likes <laughs> to put multiple layers well, on. Well, one layer. I like more work. So for five years no durability, for five years of durability sure works. For two coatings, <laughs> if you stack it, does it add more to the durability? Does not, 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 it's not like a second layer would be like 10 years. You know, it's not like it, it doubles the durability every time you put a layer on it. Yeah. It's more like, yeah, you put a layer on it, it might add a little bit on top of the durability, but it's marginal improvements. So okay. it's not, um, honestly, one layer will get the job done. But if you want to put a second one on just to ensure that you have full coverage on everything, um, it certainly could do that. You just want to wait two to four hours while that cures up. Probably more like four, but. Um, and then we're going to let this cure overnight here um you're welcome realistically i well ideally you want it to cure for 24 hours but um if you absolutely had to you can take it out into the real world in about four hours that's nice you want it's me just, to do it do you want to do it why don't you give it a try that way it's, you've been you know how to do coating so that you can tell pretty quick hey this is where this coating is different this is where this is not oh it's good strong odor and uh <laughs> that, means it's, that means it's gonna work well yeah. Um, how much do you prime? Uh, just like you'd expect a normal one. All right, I'm gonna give it's it. It's gonna be everything. Same it looks process a little as thicker. What you would, uh, expect with. It looks a little thicker. Like a sneaker. Uh, that's two. The snorts. Yeah. I'm, we're keeping track. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the snort yeah, counter. It's just the, well, it's just the, yeah, you said something. We're not. We're not <laughs> done with them, so to keep going. <laughs> what do you think of the application process so far? It's smooth. It doesn't feel grabby. I can see it's immediately. Are you feeling rushed to like get it before it's flashing or anything like that? This is my normal pace. Okay, good. This is how I normally apply coatings. And I just want to make sure I have even coverage. Because I've used some where it's like, I feel like I'm, I, I want to make sure I'm getting it I don't even real feel, quick before I it flashes. I don't feel like I am, but I will say it's yeah. rainbowing quickly. I do have the mini split blowing right on it, but it looks like it's almost but evaporated. So for me, if I'm installing a new coating, I'm going to say it looks like it's ready to, to level. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so is yours like, do you have a long work time? Have you tested the intervals of, of leveling to see how far it can go? So that's pretty tough because I mean, obviously that changes with like humidity and the heat. Mm -hmm. So if you're talking like hot and humid, that's going to definitely flash a lot faster than something that's like cold and dry. Just ready? Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can see. Yeah. It's mostly evaporated. Yeah. And you can kind of see like, I don't know if you can see from the angle with the light where you're at, but it looks like it's a little bit hard to see in blue, but you can see the little. It doesn't bit of feel a... grabby though, even though like I can see it's all but evaporated. And that one towel, like, I don't even know if I need a second towel. I don't even know if you technically need a two towel method. You can just for two, for e efficacy sakes, you know, to not yeah. have high spots. But uh, I didn't feel like I was pushing around a I lot of see product. any streaking or high spots. It wasn't grabby. That was really pleasant to work with. It was smooth, velvety when we, mm. when we leveled it, as far as like, that's the descriptors that I would use, but it wasn't grabby. I don't like fighting coatings. Like you I think 
a majority of them on the market are grabby or do you think majority of them are not grabby nowadays? Coatings are getting easier and easier to apply and to install. And so for that fact, they're not grabby. Your more industrial grade ones, your thicker ones, they are grabbier. They, they're going to bond a lot faster. Um, sometimes you like you have to immediately come in. Mm -hmm. I've worked with some that you have an, an extended long work time, but because you have so much still active solution on it, you're like pushing it around and that's way more risk for high spots just after doing one panel and I'll work with it more, but I could, I would think that one of the selling advantages of this is that there's less risk of high spots because just with one towel, we got it all. Yeah. Most of the coatings I use, I'm using three towels because the first you're still going to have smearing mm -hmm. and stuff. Then you come in, dial it in. That's the stressful part for most people applying coatings. What do I do if I have a high spot? Mm -hmm. That was easier than a wax or a sealant. That was easier than your glass coating. That was like one towel, one and done. Mm -hmm. And it was, you, yeah, we did work section by section, but still that was, that was effortless. I feel like and you it that, was kind of like idiot proof. That's, I, just, I feel like that ease of use is really, I mean, we weren't the first ones to market with ceramics. So it's like, we're going to find an angle. I mean, so just to give you some context, this product is already available on their website as kind of a pre-release for professional detailers. You can very easily sign up for this coding and already receive bulk discount prices on Stoner's website. But I was trying to encourage them to make this available on a consumer level because of how easy this product is to use. So That's even, a big even though you, uh, I'm just going to challenge yeah. you guys, why do you want this to be just pro level when someone who has no experience with coatings would be able to come in and do really well with that? Because that takes away the fear factor for them. Mm -hmm. I feel like you've removed so. all of that, like, ee, what if they don't? Because like, even if we let it sit on there, that was like 30 seconds a minute with air blowing right on it. That was still really pleasant. So I don't know, we'll keep working with it, yeah. but so you far- You wanna try doing like a half a hood with it and see if you can do actually larger panels and see- Sure. This. Yeah, it is definitely a thicker product. I can see it coming out a little soupy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go, I went heavier. Just to see how far we can go. Is this helper now? You're fine. Yeah. Are you thinking that maybe my first, the first section I did, I didn't have enough on it and that's why it no, evaporated I'm just, too quickly? No, no, no. I'm just thinking you, we can get away with more because it's more forgiving. So why not take advantage of that rather than just do a smaller portion? For me as a professional detailer, I am frequently applying ceramic coatings and this is actually one of my favorite style of ceramic coating to apply. When we see that rainbowing, that removes all of the guesswork, some sweat, some haze, some rainbow. I like the rainbowing ones because that's your telltale sign that the ceramic coating is bonding, the transfer solution is starting to flash off and it's ready to go ahead and level. For me, this hits all the marks. No, we're, I'm, I'm wanting to push this a little bit just to see we're at yeah. like 30 seconds so far. Let's see how far we can go. Because I could technically then do another panel. Yeah. Let that set up, you know, finish that one, come back, level. Yeah. And then, you know, panel another, level that off and work a little bit quicker and more efficiently. I'm curious to know. What are some of the attributes or properties that you look for out of a ceramic coating? Or if you've never applied one before, what are some of the things that might intimidate you the most out of a ceramic coating? Personally, for me, I think that this style of ceramic coating is one of the least intimidating, especially for beginners, but for pros alike, when you've had a long day of polishing and you just want to kind of finish your day out strong, I feel like this would make the ceramic coating process so much easier. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. At what point is it fully locked up? 24 hours. 24 hours. Okay. So good weather. You don't actually need to top it. You're fine to release it four hours later. You know, if it gets dirty within that first 24 hours, let it go. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay. I think it's just minimizing abrasion, wiping, things like that. To just Got it. That. So as much as we might be OCD, if you get like pollen or dust or stuff on, on a fresh coating, yeah. Let it go. Yeah, okay. okay. And then 24 hours later, you're kind of, you're solid. Yeah. Before you can wash it seven days. Pretty standard, or would you say even less than that? 
Oh, you can, you're probably less than that. You don't need to wait. You don't need to wait a whole week. Okay. Um, once that's locked up, as rich full, full, full on whatever that is, 48, 72 hours, you're you're good after two, three days. You could wash that. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I know some of my customers, they like, you paid all this money for a car. For sure. And then can't it's wait like, to wash it myself. You, <laughs> you, you got to let it get dirty. You yeah. can't do anything to it. And they're like, uh, I just paid $800 or $1,000 for yeah. coating my car's dirty. I want to yeah. wash it, you know? <laughs> I want to see how easy it is to, to apply. So, cool. Well, Should we uh, go for your applicators and just hammer it once? Yeah, let's do it. it. Do you have the applicator I was using? No, you just no. around with your phone. Yeah. I don't cool. think so. But it doesn't matter. You can... Nope, this is it. Just a good nice. Nice whiff of ammonia. Is that what I'm smelling? Yep. Is that the carrier? No, that's that's a byproduct of the cure. So as polysomal bonds together, it releases ammonia. Oh. Have you ever heard that? Wow. More you know. Is that less bonding with oxygen atoms? More. Which has one oxygen atom. You are so slower so than me. Oh, uh, yeah. You are careful. You're OCD like, is the correct you're like, yeah, OCD is the You're like speaking to the paint. Yeah. And I'm like, come on, let's get this beast done. Which has two gears. <laughs> Incredibly fast or very careful? Very, that's a very that is true. That is 100% accurate. Yeah. So I'm just gonna like. Look, like if you see this guy clean a floor mat or yeah. that, floor, <laughs> that he goes into like the camera turbo can't pick it up. His hand's just a blur. This is blur. <laughs> Do you use a drill brush? No. He uses a drill brush. I am using a drill brush. All right, so I don't have my mic thingy set up, so just talk loudly. Um, but I'll ask you this question. We're, we're going over a sunroof. Can we put this on the sunroof? Yeah, this can actually go on any of the surfaces here. Okay. And we do have ceramics specifically for glass, specifically for plastic, specifically for paint. And these are optimized for each one of those substrates. Okay. But it doesn't mean that you can't go over top of, like right now, if I just want to go over top of this plastic with it, it might not work as well as the trim shine one, restoring any kind of color or anything like that. Okay. But it would certainly still apply the same coating because again, we're just we're just putting a layer of something over top of whatever substrate we're covering with. So. Do we want to coat his uh, sunroof in with it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Take that! Hmm? Such a team I would say that the part that we did here is a lot easier to remove, like the less we let it sit, but I don't think if we let it sit longer that it's difficult. Do you think it was easier enough that it would make you not want to go to another panel? I would wipe this off and then go to the next panel. Um, but you could technically coat too. Now, can I ask a more technical question? If I let it sit, Longer, am I getting any benefit from the coating? Like, does it make it more durable the longer it sits? Or once it starts flashing off, is it pretty much then you're just evaporating the carriers off? That it's not necessarily affecting the, the coating? The latter, yeah. When you, when you see that rainbow, <clears throat> that, that, that means that's starting to cure and you're, you're good to go. Okay, so it, because I think some of us have this mentality, if I let it sit longer, it bakes longer, yeah. it's stronger, it lasts longer, but you're just making more work for yourself, basically. Yeah. And that coating thickness is so thin. I mean, like like we were saying earlier, most of what you put on, you end up wiping up. Yeah. So it, you're... So technically, like, yes, you can coat more panels, but when it comes to removing, you know, I would say still that two section is a sweet spot. And then, so then you could almost sure. work like two sections at a time. Sure. Coat two sections, level remove. Because yeah. by the time you've level, you've removed that first. This one is going to be a little easier to remove, yeah. but it's still flat top. I, I would I would say just in general observation, it's usually not this dry here, uh, especially in June. Um, yeah, we're having weird weather. If it was more humid, I think it would get tackier if you let it on there for a while. I think if I can do this entire trunk section. I'm doing an entire passenger door. You're going to have the best looking car at the stoner lot. That's not hard to do. <laughs> now that JC has anything to say about it.
I know I do a lot of ceramic coating reviews on this channel, so how would this product compare to some of the other coatings that I've reviewed, especially recently? I would have to say it's in the top two or three of the easiest coatings that I've worked with. And it was just very smooth to remove. Uh, a good bit of the transfer solution does evaporate off, so you don't feel like you're just smearing around transfer solution. It was very user-friendly, very easy to apply, wasn't grabby at all. And the gloss that it gave afterwards and slickness were really impressive. We're actually gonna show you guys a quick peek at what those hydrophobics look like. And we're gonna be doing a six month checkup on this vehicle very soon. So for those of you that wanna see more from this coating, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss those videos. Which ones did you do already? I've just done this door. Do you want the um, the light to look for high spots? Sure. You can go in muscle memory for now. Well, and that's the good thing about your coating. You can do that. Yeah. You didn't have any lights. Well, <laughs> the true test. Oh, is that glassy? It was really fun to be able to work with Stoner Car Care to do a little bit of R&D and give them my experience with using the ceramic coating. So thanks, Rich, for your help. The vehicle turned out beautiful. I know that I'm really excited to see more from this coating. And for those of you that want to try it out for yourself, we're going to put all the information for this product in the video description box down below. And you're welcome, Skylar. Your car turned out gorgeous. And I'm just saying, you can send that Rupes polisher to my shop anytime you guys want. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, that'd be cool. Now for the true test, let's pull it out into the sunlight and see how this coating looks and if we have any high spots, which fortunately we didn't because this product was so easy to apply. This looks like a nice car. I know personally, it can be hard to choose products when the market just seems so saturated and there's new products popping up all the time. But as the industry advances and as chemists are coming up with really just brilliant ways to use these coatings, I'm excited to see more from this product and how Stoner Car Care has developed such a easy, user-friendly product for professionals and enthusiasts alike. And for those of you that want to see a sneak peek at what this coating will look like once it's set up, stay tuned for the end of this video. Yeah? Now, how are you going to maintain this? How am I going to maintain it? Yeah. You're going to have Rich wash it for you? No, I was going to come back here. <laughs> <laughs> A shameless plug, use Stoner Car Care's Moab at stonercarcare.com. <laughs> speed V Topper? Speed, speed V Topper. So now, all right, so you're not going to wash it for three, four days. Yep. But as far as what I would recommend as a detailer, um, you know, maintain with your soaps that are dedicated, you know, pH neutral, safe for coated vehicles. Um, every six months, you know, you can do a water spot treatment if necessary. Um, you know, you just want to make sure you're doing a chemical decon like every six months to a year. Um, the biggest issue sometimes with ceramic coatings is water spotting issues. I mean, you know all this stuff, but I'm just trying to make for sure. You. Yeah, for you. But if you ever have um, issues, call Rich. <laughs> so we have one more new exciting product to add to Stoner Car Care's already very impressive lineup. For those of you that want to try out any of their products, head on over to stonercarcare.com. Thank you again to the guys for coming out to help me prep this vehicle and for allowing me to work with them. And as promised, here's the after of our vehicle. This was its first wash. Skylar sent me this footage and I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It looks really awesome. We're gonna have it in the shop in just a few weeks for its six month checkup. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We'll see you guys in the next detail.